shot. Thanks for 50k views. As a reward I will do one part two to any one shot you want. Just comment which you want, and the one with the most comments win. A girl ran as fast as she could through the rain letting her bare feet splash in the wet puddles. Stop! Yelled a police officer running after her. Gotta hide. Thought the young girl. She turned a corner and she ran into a boy with green wet messy hair. Ow! Said the boy. Sorry, said the girl. She picked up the bread that she dropped. Hey, do you have somewhere I can hide? Asked the girl. Hide, asked the boy. Yes, please I will explain later. Said the girl looking into his eyes begging for help. The boy thought for a moment. All right, come with me, said the boy. Thank you, said the girl. Through here, said the boy pointing down an alleyway. He led the girl down it and they both hide behind some trash cans. They saw the police officer at the beginning of the alleyway looking into the alley. He didn't see the pair and he went away. Phew, that was close. Thank you so much, said the girl standing up. What was that about? Asked the boy. I may have stole this, said the girl, with the bread in her hands. S stole, said the boy. I I know it's wrong, but I'm just so hungry, said the girl as her stomach growled in hunger. Why not ask your parents to buy it? Asked the boy. They're dead, said the girl. Oh, I'm sorry, apologized the boy. It's all right. I'm really poor ever since. I was put in an orphanage, but do awful things to us so I ran away. Now I'm all alone, said the girl. What's your name? Asked the boy. Ochako Uraraka. What's yours? Asked Ochako. That's a nice name. I'm Izuku Midoriya, said Izuku making the poor girl blush. Gee, thank you. Anyway I should go if I get caught I don't want you to get in trouble, said Ochako. Wait, maybe I can help you. I can take you to my house, said Izuku. Ochako gave a smile but declined. You've already helped me enough. I don't want to be a bother to you anymore, said Ochako. You won't be, said Izuku. But, I'm really dirty, said Ochako. You can take a shower, said Izuku. My clothes are ruined, said Ochako. You can have some of mine. Assuming you're okay with boy clothes for the time being, said Izuku. Ochako wasn't going to be picky about what she was wearing as long as it was better than what she had on, but I'm pretty hurt in some areas. Like my feet, said Ochako. Story continues below. She raised her foot and it was really bruised and beaten up Izuku immediately took his shoes off. Here, they look the same size as mine, and I recently cleaned them. Said Izuku. Midoriya, I I can't. I would owe you too much. Said Ochako starting to tear up from his kindness. Hum. Who said anything about owing anything? I just want to help you, said Izuku. He shook his shoes a little and Ochako was forced to accept them. She slipped them onto her feet and they were a perfect fit. Gee thank you Midoriya. You're one of the few people who have been nice to me, said Ochako. It's not a problem. I would feel awful if I were in your situation. I will take you to my house, but first you have to return the bread, said Izuku.
But, we have plenty of food at my house so don't worry. Let's just return it okay. Said Izuku. Okay. Said Ochako. Izuku opened his umbrella and placed it over their heads and they walked back to the store she had robbed to return the bread. Luckily the owner was nice enough to forgive her, and after they returned the stolen item Izuku took her to his house. Here it is it's nothing special just so you know, said Izuku. It's wonderful, said Ochako. Come on in just to warn you, the only other person is my mom and when she sees you she will most likely overreact, said Izuku. It can't be that bad said Ochako. Izuku unlocked the door and swung it open. Mom I'm home, called out Izuku. Hey honey, said Inko in another room. Mom I brought over a friend. Is that alright? asked Izuku. A friend, that's wonderful. Come in here so I can see who he is. I bet it's Bakugo, said Inko. A friend. I've never had a friend before, thought Ochako. She thought it would be way too soon for her to be considered Midoriya's friend, mainly since they've known each other for only an hour. But if he thinks that she will gladly agree. Come on she is really hyper, said Izuku. Ochako followed his lead and Izuku led him to the room where Inko was. Hey Izuku. Hello B. Inko stoked herself when she noticed it wasn't Bakugo. It wasn't even a boy. It was a girl. A girl. Girl. Her son had brought home a girl. For the first time ever, she started to cry. M. Miz are you alright? Asked Ochako seeing Izuku's mother cry. Yes I am so happy. Yelled Inko. She got up from her chair and she pulled both Izuku and Ochako into a really tight hug and started to choke. I knew my son wasn't gay. I knew he wouldn't be alone his whole life. I knew he would have a girlfriend someday. Said Inko bursting into happy tears. Story continues below. G girlfriend. Thought Ochako read from blushing and losing air. Now she knows it's moving too fast. M mom it's not like that. Now please let go before we die. Said Izuku also read. Oh sorry. Said Inko immediately releasing the two allowing them to breathe. You weren't kidding Midoriya. Said Ochako. So who is this? Asked Inko. My name is Ochako Urarakam is Midoriya, said Ochako. Nice to meet you, and please call me Inko sweetie, said Inko extending out her hand. A hey, are you sure? I'm really dirty, said Ochako. It's fine, I can always shower, said Inko. Ochako accepted her hand and shook it, so mom. While I was out I ran into Uraraka and she needs somewhere to stay. Can she stay here? Asked Izuku. I really hope it's not too much trouble, said Ochako. Of course not you're welcome to stay here as long as you want to Izuku go get the air mattress and go put it in your room while I get dinner ready, said Inko. Am my room? Asked Izuku blushing. Yes, now go on, said Inko. See come on Uraraka, said Izuku. She followed him into the hallway where he opened a closet door and took out a box. He carried the box into his room. Wow, you have a lot of posters in here. Mostly of the same person, said Ochako. I it's embarrassing. Makes me look nerdy, said Izuku embarrassed. What's wrong with that? I think it's pretty cool, said Ochako. T thank you. Anyway let's get this mattress up, said Izuku taking it out of the box. Do you need any help? Asked Ochako. I got it you can take a shower if you'd like. 
It's down the hall on the left, said Izuku. A shower. She can't remember the last time she had one. Only thing she had was a beach, and she couldn't exactly do it out in the open. And it wasn't that clean anyway. Thanks Midoriya, for everything. It makes me really happy. I won't stay for too long, said Ochako. Huh, you're staying with us now, said Izuku setting the mattress out. But, you don't have anywhere else to go to you, asked Izuku. No I don't, said Ochako. Then it's settled, said Izuku. Ochako had a feeling she couldn't win this argument so she let it go. Where should I leave my clothes? Asked Ochako. There's a laundry basket there. Just out them there and I will see what clothes I have, said Izuku. bathroom. She locked the door, turned on the water, and took off her clothes and put them into the basket and stepped into the shower letting the hot water born skin. Her feet felt a little sting since they were bruised and beaten, but she wasn't going to complain. They are really nice. Most people took one look at me and either ran away or taunted me. Maybe one day I can repay them for their kindness, thought Ochaka, continues below. She made sure her hair was really wet and she used a shampoo bottle and squirted shampoo on her hair and rubbed it in. And that Midoriya boy is really cute. But it's way too early for a relationship. Besides he only said we are friends anyway, thought Ochako with a blush. She made sure she cleaned everywhere good, she even got some old dirt and mud off her body. After making sure she was clean, she turned the water off and stepped out of the shower and grabbed a giant towel hanging on a rack and covered herself and looked in the mirror. I really could use a haircut, thought Ochako looking at her hair that reached her hips. She opened the door and looked down the hallway to make sure nobody was there. She went back to Izuku's bedroom door and knocked. Midoriya, called out Ochako. No answer. Ochako opened the door slightly and found nobody in there. She opened it fully and stepped in closing the door behind her. Where did he go? thought Ochako. She then heard the door behind her open up she turned around to find Izuku. And she had nothing but a towel on that stopped him from seeing anything important. She watched as his face turned red and she could feel hers doing the same. I am sorry, yelled Izuku shutting the door immediately. He slid down the door and planted his face in his hands in pure shame. Now she probably thinks I'm some kind of pervert. Good going Izuku. You should have checked the bathroom to see if she was done first. Izuku thought to himself. Midoriya, are you still there? Asked Ochako on the other side. Why yeah, said Izuku. What were you doing? Asked Ochako. I I didn't know you were in there. My mom had some old clothes that looked like they could fit you so I came to lay them out for when you were done. I swear I didn't mean to see you like that, said Izuku. Quote dot 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 dot. Quote dot. 
Are you mad at me? Asked Izuku when he didn't hear anything from her. No I'm not mad I understand it was accident. It's quite alright, said Ochako. Izuku was relieved she didn't think bad of him at all, eh alright. I'm leaving the clothes right here and I will leave. I will come back in a few minutes okay, said Izuku. Gotcha, said Ochako. Izuku left the clothes and he went to the kitchen to help his mother. Ochako opened the door to find a neat little stack of fresh clothes. She grabbed them and went back into Izuku's room and put them on and looked in a mirror. They, they look amazing, thought Ochako. A happy tear ran down her face. She was truly grateful to these people. She heard a knock on the door. Izuku didn't want to make the same mistake, and she opened it. Hey Midoriya, smiled Ochako. Hey Uraraka, you look great in those clothes, said Izuku making himself and her blush. Thanks, said Ochako filled with a warm new feeling to her. Story continues below. Dinner is done if you're ready, said Izuku. Sounds good. I haven't eaten in two days, said Ochako. She followed him into the hallway but she felt her feet really start to hurt. Ow, said Ochako. What's wrong? Asked Izuku turning to face. It's nothing. My feet are just a little sore, said Ochako. Can I take a look at them? Asked Izuku. They aren't pretty to look at, said Ochako. It's alright, I'm sure they're fine, said Izuku. Okay, said Ochako trusting him not to judge her. They went back to Izuku's room and Ochako sat on her bed and lifted her feet to him. There was cuts, bruises, missing pieces of skin, and her toenails were looked like they were chewed. It hurts every time I step, said Ochako. How long have you not had shoes for? Asked Izuku looking at her feet. Years. I've walked barefoot for a while, said Ochako. Hang on one second, said Izuku. He left the room and came back a few minutes later with a plate of food in one hand and e-first aid kit in the other. He set the food down on a table and went back to her with the first aid kit. I is it all right if I touch your feet? Asked Izuku. Go ahead, said Ochako. Izuku opened the first aid kit and brought out some wraps. He placed them all around both of her feet. Sorry I'm not a doctor so I don't know other than this. At least they aren't infected, said Izuku. Midoriya I really can't thank you enough for this, said Ochako. You don't have to now I don't think you should be on your feet much for the next few days so you can just relax here and I brought you your dinner, said Izuku. Are you going to stay with me and eat? Asked Ochako. I is that alright? Asked Izuku. Of course, said Ochako smiling. He's pretty shy. I wonder if he has a girlfriend. Thought Ochako. Okay, I'll be right back. You can go ahead and eat if you want, said Izuku. He gave her the plate and he went towards the kitchen to get his. When he got back Ochako had already finished. Wow, that was fast, said Izuku. I haven't eaten in days so I'm pretty hungry, said Ochako. Do you want seconds? Asked Izuku. Finally we can relate our side by side. This is me. I knew all along we'd find some way to come.